You can scan and send documents to multiple destinations using a variety of methods with the ImageRunner Advanced Models. Start by placing your documents in the feeder or on the platen glass. If the device has an authentication method activated, you must first authenticate or log into the device. Depending on how your system is configured, you may need to swipe an ID card, enter a username and password, or as you see in this example, by selecting your user icon and entering your password. Once logged in, you will be brought to the main menu. You may need to navigate between pages. You can do this by swiping with your finger or using the arrow keys. From here, press the Scan and Send function. There are several ways to specify the send destinations. For example, you can use the address book to send to stored destinations. One-touch buttons to send documents to frequently used destinations and group destinations. And the new Destinations feature to add destinations that are not previously stored on the device. For added convenience and security, once authenticated, you can also use the Personal Folder button to scan and send documents directly to a personal folder that your IT administrator has tied to your login information or the Send to Myself button to scan and send a document directly to an email address that is tied to your login information. In this example, you'll select the Send to Myself feature. Notice that the email address that is tied to your login information is automatically selected as the destination after pressing Send to Myself. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can change a variety of settings, including scanning in color or black and white, Scan Resolution, Scan Size, and File Format. The two buttons shown here for two-sided original and different size original are shortcut keys that can be replaced with commonly accessed send functions, like entering a file name, for example. In this example, you will send the document as a PDF that is OCR text searchable. Press the File Format button to display additional options. PDF Compact is selected as the default. Select OCR Text Searchable to turn on the OCR capability. This will allow you to highlight and copy text, as well as search for keywords within the document. You can also select other file types, including JPEG, PDF, TIFF, XPS, and OOXML Word and PowerPoint. Press OK to return to the Scan and Send page. Next, give the file a name so that you can recognize it more easily once it is saved to your computer. Press Options to display a list of available options. Use the arrows to scroll through the options to find file name. To name the file, press the File Name button. Tap the File Name field. Go ahead and name this Report Underscore Finance. Press OK to close the window, and again to return to the list of options. Now the document you are scanning has a mix of single-sided and double-sided pages. You don't want the PDF to include any of the blank backsides of the single-sided pages. The ImageRunner Advance has the capability to detect and skip blank originals during the scanning process. Press Skip Blank Originals to access the feature. You can choose to skip blank originals of any color or on white paper only. Use the default setting of all colors, which will skip any blank page regardless of page color. You can also press the Adjust Recognition Level button and use the plus minus buttons to adjust the sensitivity from low to high. Lower levels can be used if the document has very faint text or images that you wouldn't want to be mistaken as blank pages. Higher levels can be used if your document has dark borders or images that can partially be seen through the page. Press OK and OK again. And close to return to the Scan and Send screen. 
Now that the settings have been made, you are ready to scan and send. Press Start on the control panel to scan and send the document.